to Miss USA live from Shreveport, Bossier City, Louisiana. The top five contestants just matched wits in the high stakes question round. How did their answers affect the home vote? Take a look. These are your favorites. Yes, let's see if your votes will keep them in the running. It's time to reveal the top three. Here we go. The first woman to make it to the top three is... Nebraska! The next contestant who still has a chance to earn the title is... North Carolina! Three women are waiting to hear their name, but there's only one spot left. Our last finalist is... Nevada! Congratulations to our top three. And our finalists better be ready for anything because we're not slowing down. They're about to face another demanding challenge. That's right, it's the final word. This time, each finalist will be asked the exact same question. It's an opportunity for our final three to clearly define what sets them apart from their competitors. Each of you will have 30 seconds to deliver your final word. When your time is up, you'll hear this sound. Each of you will be wearing soundproof headphones so that you won't be able to hear your competitors' answers. It's time for the final word. Headphones on. Nebraska, please join us. <laughs> Woo -hoo! All right, you ready? I hope so, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your question. You're on your way to a march, and someone hands you a blank sign and a marker. What do you put on your sign, and why? I say, speak your voice. I don't know what march we're on our way to in this hypothetical situation, but no matter where you're going, whatever type of march it is, you're obviously on your way to that march because you care about that cause. So go speak to people when they have questions, communicate with them, listen to their views also. That is one thing in the United States that we really need to focus on, is listening to each other. Thank you, Nebraska. Thank you very much. Okay. Please remove North Carolina's headphones. North Carolina, please come join us. You ready? I am. I was just jamming out to Pitbull. <laughs> Here is your question. You're on your way to a march, and someone hands you a blank sign and a marker. What do you put on your sign, and why? I would put on my sign, your body, your rights. As someone who was sexually assaulted, as someone who stood up and fought against my perpetrators, I am all about marching for your body, for your rights. Nobody ever has the opportunity or has the right to touch you, to drug you, to do anything, to sexually assault you, harass you. That's never acceptable. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very Carolina. much, North Carolina. Okay, please remove Nevada's headphones. Hey, Nevada, please join us. Are you ready? So ready. All right, here's your final question. You're on your way to a march, and someone hands you a blank sign and a marker. What do you put on your sign, and why? I put on my sign, let's work together to eliminate homelessness. Um, there are approximately 500,000 people suffering from the situation on a given night. And in my state of Nevada, we are ranked number three in the whole nation for having that much amount of homeless youth. I wanna be an advocate and continue to 
raise awareness for the situation because if I experience this firsthand, I can use my platform to raise awareness for these youth, to never give up on their dreams no matter your circumstance. Your past does not define your future. You can make anything happen if you believe because if I did, they can too. Absolutely, thank you, Nevada. Wow, Vanessa, one tough question, three very different answers. That's right, there are so many factors to consider. I'm just glad we're not the ones that have to pick tonight's winner. That's Me what I'm too. But when we come back, our three finalists have won. Trying to be strong, I got someone else to be. Promises to keep someone else who loves me. Just be fast asleep. I made up my mind, there is no turning back. She's been good to me, and she deserves better than me. It's the chapter will begin tonight. But before the reigning Miss USA, Kyra McCullough, 
Jenny's journey comes to a close, we got to give her her final walk. So everybody, please join me in welcoming her again as she takes the stage for her final walk as Miss USA. Competing in Miss USA changed my life eternally. Now I proudly stand before the world as a curly hair queen, scientist, and chic geek. During my reign, I had the opportunity to leverage my nonprofit, SE4K, which empowers students of all backgrounds to embrace science and math through fun with purpose interactive activities. This year has reaffirmed my life mantra, nothing in this world can take the place of persistence. I want to thank my mom, dad, and brother Julius, to Paula and Emily and the entire Miss Universe organization, thank you for your endless support. To Edis, Demi, Carly, and Sophia, y'all are the fiercest. To the next Miss USA, use your passion to make a difference. Because of this experience, I wake up every morning and say, I am limitless. Wow, ah, amazing. All right, Nick. It's time. Uh, don't say it like that. You're making me nervous up here. Sorry. Nerve-wracking. Oh. Tall Goldhammer from the accounting firm of Ernst & Young has tabulated the votes. Hey! Thank you, Tall. The selection committee and the viewers at home have made their final decisions. Ladies, I feel what you're going through. Know that you are beautiful. Good luck, okay? Good luck to all of you. Second runner up for Miss USA is Nevada. Congratulations, Nevada. Two women remain. Ladies, please take center stage. Nebraska and North Carolina. One of you is only a moment away from being awarded the crown. Now, if for any reason the winner is unable to fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will take her place. Goosebumps. Both of you are strong, beautiful, and deserving women, but there can only be one winner. Miss USA 2018 is... Nebraska! Congratulations, Nebraska! Take your first walk as the new Miss USA.